Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be playing just a quick little casual game with some random person on here. This is uh, U Factor. This is just supposed to be casual vintage. These are the decks that I have. And I'm going to be bringing Lutri Walks. I'm going to be seeing if U Factor is alright with this. Ah, uh, I mean, they know their name. Let's see. May I join for a bit? Make sure that we get some time to get a game in. I'm actually waiting on a match that we're going to have for the Untap Open League. Um, and... Uh, my, my opponent isn't... is taking a... we'll be back in about 15 minutes. 15-ish. So, because of that I'm going to be jamming a game here real quick. Hopefully. We'll see. We'll see if my potential opponent is there. I don't know if there's any way that I can ping them, um, but based on what I saw of their record, not that a lot of draw. well, okay, okay, now, draws in this doesn't actually mean draws. It means nobody reported the, uh, the win-loss, so that may not, this, this is, this does not mean very much at all. So we, we don't know much about their, their skill at this, I suppose, just based on that. Uh, nine hours played, that's a, that's a decent bit. Let's see, and they've been on here for a while. It's currently in a game. Uh, if we don't see them for a sec, I will maybe do another video. Maybe I'll, I won't keep this. <laughs> right, we'll see. Oy, oy, oy. What do I say? So what I'm on right now is Lutri Walks. This is a Lutri... Uh, time walk deck. It runs, I believe, oh, yep, here we go, here we go. Seven different time walk effects. So, yeah, hopefully we're going to be copying them and doing some shenanigans. You too. All right. So, I'm going to set this... It's not actually an exile. I'm going to include this way on over here. Way on over here way away from it, <laughs> anything happening. Alright, so I will draw my seven. Alright, here goes nothing. Oh! So we have... We have turn to Tinker. Yeah, this is a keep. I'll keep as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. So now you know I have a number pad. On mine. All right, there it goes, and so it begins. Uh, all right, yep, <laughs> not gonna bother. Ooh, too hot, a little too hot. Let's cool you down for a bit. Just made some coffee. Just made what, half a gallon of coffee. All right, let's see. What is that? Duress? Uh, yo. Yo, if I want to get this tinker off, I have to let, I can't let that last. Uh, force of negation, exiling, <laughs> I kind of want to show them the jank. Kind of want to show them the, yeah, we'll do nexus of fate. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 wrong, wrong section. All right, that's more like it. That's more like it. Okay. And it's a... Uh, uh, oh. It's a... Uh, exiled. Force negation is odd. You know, it happens. Uh, that happened to me the first time that I played that. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, so check this out. Counter target non-creature spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Yo, yeah. Never seen Beacon of Tomorrows invented. Beacon of Tomorrows. Uh, almost. The jank is real. <laughs> oh, um... Duress is exiled. I, I think they may not have... Oh, they may have thought that I was talking about Nexus of Fate. Yeah, Nexus of Fate does get exiled. 
because uh, I'm exiling a blue card from my hand. Fair enough. All right, let's give him a sec to, to work on that. They'll get there, they'll get there, folks. Hey, oops. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. It's all right. All right, so let's see, there's not. Okay, well, oops. <laughs> That's exactly what we wanted to hit with Tinker, so we have a bit of a problem now. Houston, we have a problem. All right. We'll do this, and then pass. That could have gone better. That could have gone way, way better. Now you can thought seize me. Yeah, duress in vintage. Vintage, not a format where having those extra two life matters all that much. Uh-oh, they're stacking their lands on top of what is going on. Uh, no response. Could they please be sep- oh. Could the lands please be separated? Alright, um, yeah, we're just gonna draw. We're just going to draw here. Alright, let's see. There we go. What's this? Gitaxian Probe. Well, I mean, shields are down. Let's pay two. Hello? There we go. See what they have. See what shenanigans are going on. Oh, I mean, I... <laughs> I guess I should technically do this. There we go. There we go. Look, It is look at target player's hand. And because of defense grid, they can't respond. Okay, so preordain another duress. Okay, so duress taking Tinker here would be okay. I'll live with that. And we'll screenshot just in case they get hidden. Uh, temporal manipulation. There's some jank. Um, so if we don't use the Tinker here, we probably lose it. But we, we already have Blight Steel in hand, so it's not really that big of a deal. Because of that, I'm not actually sure what's what's right. Hmm. So what else do we have in the deck? We have Black Lotus and the Moxen. We do let's see. Actually let's let's take a look at our If I do find card, it'll put them in alphabetical order. So it's not actually going to well, I don't know that the opponent knows that. Checking something real quick. So, as you can see, it's in alphabetical order. This is not actually what it would... <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Sapphire Medallion. Mmm, not worth it. I guess I could sacrifice it to get a top. Get a Sensei's Divining Top. That seems wrong, though, especially since I'd be giving up my fetch lands to do it. Alright, so I guess we'll pass. You know, we could also Snap Probe. That would be interesting. And once I get up to 5 mana, I can Snap Force of Negation, but I can't use Flashback in the alternate casting cost. Let's see. And you'll notice it doesn't show that it was shuffled. So I, I looked at my deck and it didn't shuffle it. So it, it didn't change the layout or anything. Now Luris only works on uh, an instant sorcery that I control. So I can't take one of theirs. I can't cast it in response to their ancestral recall or something like that. Uh, that's going to be good. I have enough mana. Theoretically, I could respond to that. But whatever. Whatever. All right. So next turn, if we don't hit a land, we'll go Snapcaster Gitaxian Probe. Snap Get Probe. Now, something that we can do that's interesting is, if once we get the mana, we can go Tinker 
and Lutri, we won't have to uh, sacrifice an additional artifact. That cost will already have been paid. So we'll sack an artifact, get two artifacts, but again, we have Blightsteel in hand already, so it's not really worth it, in all likelihood. I'm interested, interested excuse me, to see what this Duress will hit. The opponent sees Tinker in hand, but they also see Blightsteel. But they don't know if I happen to run the Time Machine combo or something like that. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ooh, what happened? I was thinking of Ponder. It's alright. Casual and all. Yeah, this is for zero stakes. I actually wasn't even paying attention to that. Looked at the top three. Oh yeah, oops. Oops. We'll live. Okay. So, yeah, I guess move from deck to... Oh. Huh? Okay. We'll live. <laughs> this is this is a mess. Why would you why would you do that? Oh, it's fine. All right. So, we'll draw a card. Ponder. Now we have an actual ponder. And we can go we can't go ponder, snap ponder. Um, I really do need to do something here. I have to crack one of these, so we'll crack the... Uh, what do I want my opponent to think I'm more likely to have? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay, I, I tapped it, so that's what we'll do. We'll do 17. Crack, and we will go and find an island. All right, there we go. Hello, there we go. We'll play the ponder now, and because of defense grid, it will resolve. And also, I see what's in their hand, so it will resolve. We'll, we'll do this correctly. We'll look at the top three. Uh, that's Search for Azcanta Baral. We, we need to draw... Hmm. Hmm. I guess we go like that. Now, this is only instance and sorcery, so it won't help the search. But I think that this is correct. And we might even want to keep Baral as well. So, we can wait on our fetch, in other words. Alright. It's so cool. And then we will draw. And play it. And we could go Snap Probe. I don't think that that's right. I don't think that that's correct. Snap Probe here. It... it we would, in order to do that, we'd still be able to keep our fetch land up. Well, well, we are getting the Baral, though. No matter what, we are getting the Baral. So because of that, that might actually be right. But it feels better to get Snap Ponder, because Ponder gives us more selection later on. Um, oh. Maybe I'm supposed to wait. But then if I... Hmm... Ooh, jeez, this is tricky, folks. This is tricky. I'm going to, I'm going to play it slow. I'm going to pass. And play it a little bit slowly. All right. So, uh, what's going on? Oh, end of turn fetch, I guess. Well, even if it's on upkeep, we'll get the same result. Okay, yep, looks good. Looks good. Alright, so getting a swamp. Getting a swamp. They're deck thinning. I'm, on the other hand, trying to find lands. And Brawl, for, for this, will be close enough. Brawl's not a land, but close enough. 
we're getting to the point where we're just about to start doing some shenanigans. Okay, so they're playing a land we already know about. The Academy gives them one more mana, but right now, unless that unknown card is something pretty silly, there's not a whole lot to gain from it. So we're going to untap. Be a little bit OCD about the fact that our lands aren't next to each other, but oh well, we'll, be, we'll live. Our islands, rather, I should say, aren't next to each other. And once again, this, this doesn't have to resolve, uh, but Force of Will would not do the job. And then we could tinker here. We could tinker here. We're not going to tinker here. If I can figure out a way to get this Blight Steel out of my hand, that would be brilliant. Brillante. Goodness. Love the card. You know it. Uh, that maybe sounds a little prideful. I didn't mean you know it like, yeah, that's nice. I meant you know it like, I love that card too. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm overthinking it. So now we can fetch next turn so that we don't have to get uh, Search for Azcanta. Though how many... We have four in the yard. I think that this is probably okay. We'll fetch next turn. Search is, is not where we would like to be right now, I think. I think. Um... The opponent's playing slowly enough, and, th well, they are a duress deck, actually. They are a duress deck, so there is a case to be made. My turn. They're still not discarding yet. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? We may keep it. We may keep the search. Search and ponder actually can work a little bit well with each other. It lets me get rid of a card off the, off the top without having to crack a fetch. Um, yeah, that gives us an extra land. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll do it. All right. Here goes nothing. Search for Azcanta. <laughs> this looks super janky. This is way more slowly than I would like to play the deck. But I think that it's okay. I think that this is fine. We're going to swing in for one. Boop. Boop -a boop boop. <laughs> okay. Alright. And see if they're okay with it. They are. And we will pass. Next turn, we finally, finally get to go Snapcaster Ponder Fetch. And hopefully then we can start going to town. <sighs> Alright. Whew, okay, let's see. Although, there's a decent bit that I would like to be able to keep on top of the deck. So we're going to look at the top card. Look at the top one. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think we can live with that. Gives us extra mana. So that's what we'll do. We'll keep it. Hello. And then we'll draw. Duro. <laughs> what is this feel? I never have feels this weirdly ordered. Here. I'll be a tiny bit OCD about it. Tiny bit. Okay. So, by the way, it's it's still seven. To get seven or more cards in the yard. So I did slow myself a bit on that. Um... I think that it's more important for me to go... Snapcaster. Oh, hello. That's that's weird. All right. Hey, we'll do it this way. Snapcaster. Target. Ponder. All right. Doing some janky stuff. All right, and we're good. All right. Cast it. We should be all right. Good. Yeah, this is this is way more slowly than I would like to play. This blade still in hand is is kind of annoying. <laughs> the, those were not that was not likely to happen, but that that messed me up. 
to be fair. That, that definitely messed me up. Okay, so Vista mocks, what is this? Metallurgic summonings. As slowly as this game is going, we might even have time for summonings. That sounds ridiculous, because it is, but I... We might. What, are, what is our opponent doing? Oh boy, okay. Whale. Whale. In that case, Tinker would be a 3-3. Three, three. That's, that's not nothing. So I guess we go Metallurgic Summonings. We can't cast it this turn, though. Okay, we could balance it on top of our deck. Have another Mox, balance it on top of our deck, and then, hmm, okay, you know, wait, 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 we can go like this, we can do, not that, Metallurgy, or uh, Mox Sapphire, play it, search for his Kanta, get rid of Prismatic Vista, and then Metallurgic Summonings is the draw, and then we play it. That would give us a little bit more mana to work with, but right now that doesn't do us any any good. See, summonings is fine, and we even have a time walk spell. Uh, this looks a little cute, to be honest. I don't know that this is right. That looks a little bit cute. Could just take our land and run. I think this is okay. Okay, then play you. Do this again. Whee! Okay. We we can't actually cast this now. I'm gonna wait though. I'm gonna be patient. Oh boy. Okay, we got there. My bad. My bad. I re I remembered. I remembered. Wait a minute. No. No, no, wait a minute. Oh, oh, because I didn't tap for the ponder. So like, wait a minute, that looks wrong. <laughs> that looks wrong. All right. Yeah, I, I, that, my bad, my bad, folks. I, I got there eventually. All right. Oof. Ooh. My bad. need to save some coffee for the actual game. This is game one of one. Okay. So I'm waiting for them to start going off. The fact that they have defense grid means something ungodly is about to start happening. Uh, that is a really late duress. Better late than never, but, you know, they got me. Uh, reveal all once. Whale. Whale. In that case, that actually might force me to change what I do. I think they're still taking Tinker. I think that that's probably what they do. Dude, nice EDH cards. Yeah, haha. Now, Tinker is banned. <laughs> Tinker is banned, but I gotcha. I gotcha. Gotha. Gotcha. Ooh. Well, if it'll let me, discard. Gotcha. All right. There we go. All right. So jig is up. Light steel is just a dead card in hand <laughs> at this point. Um. I think it's time for them to go off. I think that it's time for them to go off. That duress there makes me think that they were waiting until... until time. We're about to get blown out here. Ah, and so close. No, we... we... <clears throat> I'm sure there's a different plan that we could have had. Well, obviously we could have done the Temporal Manipulation instead of the Ponder, but I don't think that that was right. 
So we'll see. We'll see if we're dead. If we... Are we out? Are we out of the game? It, it's got... It has to be Storm, right? This is totally Storm. Yep. Storm. There's Dark Rit. Yep. Not much I can do here. Alright, so black, black, black in the pool. It's that dark petition. Still black, black, black in the pool. Yep. Alright. We are going to lose our premier game with it. We are indeed. Alright, so what is this? Oh, okay, it's their card from Dark Petition. Instead of moving hand, they put it in face down. Uh, and then added the hand. There we go. Oof. Okay. Alright, so we're making one, two, two mana with black, black already in the pool. Blue, blue, black, black, black. What is this? Tinker. Say no response. There it goes. Uh, blue, black, black. So there's blue, black left in the pool. Storm four. Get uh, Citadel. I would think is if it's Storm, it's, it has to be Citadel. I would think. And... Okay. See what you're working with. Do 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 do. Yep, Citadel. Okay, cool. You may play the top card of their library. If you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its CMC rather than pay its mana cost. Let's see if they've played a land. Because I do not know. Alright. Oh, right. Snow Cover Swamp is tapped. Uh. From hand to play. Okay, so player in academy. No lands. No more lands. That's a little less scary. Okay. That's a... <laughs> oh no! There's always next turn. With... Citadel. Citadel turns out it's a pretty good magic card. Yeah, I, they went off a little bit early, but I don't blame them, actually. Given what shenanigans we have going on, I can't actually blame them. Ooh, okay. So, in that case... Uh, we might have time for Metallurgic sum Summonings, but this Citadel is scary. Because they can just go off whenever they feel like it. Uh, not whenever they feel like it, but whenever the cards line up. That's that's a little unfortunate. What is this? Tendrils. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. Five copies. Yeah. Do, 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 do. See if that'll work. Eh, too far. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then they gain that much life as well. All right, well, um, we might need the summonings then. If they're you, if they're burning the tendrils now, I think that that tells me that I need to. Let's see. All right. Thinking, because I can crack this fetch here. Thinking, thinking. Um. So remember, it's a prismatic vista on top. So that'll put us to five cards in discard. Even if I crack the fetch, that's six. Uh, I'll take the I'll take the metallurgic summonings, actually. So we'll do this. Hello. Oh, still in chat. Look at the top one. Discard it, and then draw. Okay. Well, 
that's not going to be reduced. It's not an instant or sorcery. Alright, speaking of EDH cards... <laughs> speaking of EDH... And then... Let's go swinging, I guess. And then next turn, we can crack this fetch, and then whatever happens to show up off of the search, we can just dump it. Well, that's necessarily right. Alright. So next turn, we can start doing stuff. Next turn. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. I think, actually... Hmm. There's library. Library is a good old time. All right, let's see. Um, so for ways to get the tendrils now, yog will is probably what it's going to have to be. Uh, not necessarily. They could have, they could have time twister. That would that would that would suck. Um. <laughs> But that, that is something that can happen. Time Twister absolutely makes sense in the context of this deck. Windfall, Wheel of Fortune, any card like that. I, I, I don't see Wheel, but, you know. Ooh. Where is this? Is that what they're casting? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Jeez. All right. Well... Uh, yeah, I can... Dark Writ, Tendrils, so this would be, um, let's see. Dark Writ, Tendrils, already that's six, and they just have to cast literally anything else. Mock Sapphire. Oh wait, there was a, uh, a mock, okay. That's lethal. Good game. And let's see what I would have gotten. So, oh well, actually I was going to fetch anyway. So, see what that would have been. Oh no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's, let's say that's what it would have been. Can't right now. Sorry. Thanks though. Thank you very much. No more taking turns right now. Alright, and that'll do it. Alright, so take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. That silly little game brought to you by U-Factor. Storm. Bolus the Citadel turns out pretty good. Alright, bye-bye.